Ah, the days when we could go to a real studio with multiple cameras and an actual film crew. Nowadays we are working from home. So if you still want to use multiple camera angles, it can get really difficult. You need to show your things, you need to do your presentation, and you need to control all the equipment at the same time, trying to figure out which camera to look at. Ah, it's just hard. But what if we could use AI to control the cameras? So that no matter which camera you look at, it's always the right camera. Let's build this today. So we want to switch between camera angles automatically. But how would we build that? Well, first we need some cameras. And to switch between the cameras we need a video switcher. So let's use both OPS Studio, which is free and open source software, as well as the Blackmagic Design ATEM Mini Pro, which is a hardware unit. With OBS and ATEM Mini, we can switch between our cameras by selecting them in the user interface, or by pressing physical buttons. But how could we automate this camera selection? We need to somehow detect which camera we are looking at. So let's build a locally running AI solution that analyzes all three camera feeds at the same time. And to run AI locally, let's use the Google Coral USB accelerator. It has the Edge TPU, so you can offload the heavy machine learning inference to the specialized coprocessor. And then we need a machine learning model that can estimate our pose. For that, we can use the pre-trained Google Coral PoseNet model. And note that the PoseNet model does not identify who is in the picture. It simply identifies where the key body joints are. But how could we analyze all three cameras at the same time? Well, luckily both OBS and ATEM Mini provide us with a multi-view. The multi-view is showing all connected cameras side by side in little windows. So let's use the multi-view as our data source. Next, let's create a client for the Corelets TPU inference engine and load the PostNet model to the accelerator. Then we can start sending the three camera side-by-side -side frames to the machine learning engine, run inference, and read the PostNet responses. And in this case, with three cameras, we should get three poses back, one for each camera. And each pose should contain a list of key points that are detected, such as ears, eyes, and nose. To make sure that the model is actually working, Let's use a function to draw some dots over the detected ears, eyes, and nose for each of the detected poses. All right, this seems to be working. Next, we should analyze the machine learning inference response and use the information to determine which camera the person is looking at. How do we do that? Well, I've written a little function that looks at where is the nose in relation to the eyes and ears. So if you look at a forward-facing camera view, you can see that the nose is roughly in the middle between the eyes and ears. But from a side view, you can see the nose appears to be nearer to the eye and ear on one side. So now if I look at another camera, you can see that I'm using the red dots to determine that that particular pose has the nose in the middle. So this should be the active camera that we should be using. So then how could we switch to that camera programmatically? Well, let's first see in OBS. So here in OBS, you can see that I have three scenes defined, each of them with their own camera. And in the view menu, we can activate the multi-view. Now in the multi-view, you can see that the program view is the one being broadcast. And then in this case, we can now manually select between the three scenes or three different cameras. So how could we control the camera switching programmatically with OBS? Well, you can install a plugin called OBS WebSocket. I have installed the plugin and we can configure it here in the WebSocket server settings. So you can see that it's listening on a local port. So now what we need to do is to send a WebSocket message to that port to tell OBS to switch to a particular scene. Let's try this in action. Let's take a quick look at the code first. So if we are using OBS, we will create a WebSocket client and connect to the local host port 4444 in this case. And then we can ask from OBS programmatically for a list of scenes. Basically those are in this case, the three cameras that we have connected. And after we have run machine learning inference on the three camera frames and determined which camera we are looking at, if the currently active camera is not the one we are looking at, 
we can send a web socket call to OBS asking OBS to switch scenes to that new camera. So let's see how that works. We are here in OBS. We will start the client app, connect to the local port 4444 and tell the client to control OBS. So now you can see that we will get a new WebSocket connection on this machine. And here we can see the output from the app. It's analyzing the three camera feeds. And currently the forward facing camera is the active camera. We have the red dots here. However, if I now look at another camera, it works. We are now able to tell OBS programmatically to switch to the camera I'm looking at. And it does that. So now that means that I can focus on showing my weird and wonderful demos here, focus on my presentation, and the AI system can now control between the different connected cameras. So that works. Now let's see the same with the Blackmagic ATEM Mini. So the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro and Pro ISO are hardware video switchers. You can see their control panel here. We can see that camera one is the active program here. So how can we control this unit programmatically? Well, one easy way is by installing the open source ATEM OSC proxy. It's a small, simple agent that is listening for OSC messages that we can send. And then it will forward those messages using the Blackmagic SDK to the hardware unit. And it even lists for us the API calls that we can send to the ATEM Mini. So let's try this. We start the client app again. But this time we specify that we want to talk to ATEM. And I'm running the ATEM OSC proxy here, listening on this port. So let's start the client, tap into the multi-view feed provided by the ATEM Mini, and you can see we are running inference on the multi-view. So currently the camera facing me directly is the active camera, but if I look at another camera, it works. You can see that in the ATEM control panel, we are switching the active camera. And you can also see on the ATEM OSC display here that it's receiving OSC control messages from our client app. All right. So now we are able to control both OBS and the Blackmagic unit with the HTPU and Coral PostNet machine learning model. Well, that's all for this episode. We will be open sourcing all the source code and the example app shown in this episode. If you liked it, click the like button, click subscribe, and see you next time. Bye-bye.